Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. We're outside, so that must mean we're talking about ponds. And we are, because that's going to be a new pond. Let me show you. So this is my front garden. And this used to be a bunker. So the garden is actually a golf hole. The person that lived here before us is obviously into golf because he's created an entire par three. And this was the bunker. We're changing it so it's going to go from a bunker to a water feature. So it was filled with all these bags of sand. So there's a couple of tons of sand that we've taken out, a couple of tons of hardcore under that, and then we get down to the soil. But it's so hard. Literally smashing it with a pickaxe, it's getting us nowhere fast. So that's as far as we've got with this. And we've got a digger coming next weekend so I can have some fun with that. So we've got all these bags of sand that we excavated from the bunker. The idea is once we've dug the big hole, we can then use the sand to go in and line it before we put in a pond liner. I feel that for full transparency, I should point out that every time I say we, and this is mostly not to get me into trouble, I should say she. Um, I helped a little bit but this was almost all my wife's doing she did the majority of the digging the majority of the heavy lifting um like i say this is her project i'm simply helping out so i didn't do very much at all it's mostly her sorry dear so at its widest it's about 18 feet by 10 feet the plan is to have a, a ledge for planting on the out on either side and then a ledge inside for like marginal pond plants this is completely Missy's Adventurer's deal. I'm, I'm just here for labour. Um, the idea is going to be some kind of wildlife pond. Very low, minimal effort. Her <laughs> main requirement is it doesn't draw any power. So I don't even know if we'll have fish in this pond. Um, but yeah, a liner, dig a big hole, get a liner in there. We've got lots of rocks in the garden. We can border it with rocks. Nice planting around it. And we'll see. So if anyone's got any ideas, I've been thinking about like kind of solar powered things that we could maybe do. Um, but yeah, this is her deal. I'm not allowed to input into it. But this is the other pond. This is my little patio pond. We've got this structure again was here by the previous owners, but we basically dug out the middle, put in a big tub, filled it with water. And last year had a few goldfish in it, which are in here now. Um, and have been for a while. So today's job is to get the goldfish back in this pond. So I thought I'd just do a quick recap of what's going on, how it runs, and see if any of this can be translated to the bigger pond. So for filtration, this one uses solar panels. So I've got a solar panel hooked up to my DIY thing here. It's just basically just a tub with filter media in it. Draws it in through the top and then puts it back out again. So that sits in there, and whenever there's sunshine, it runs. Uh, it did a great job of keeping up the water quality last year. I've also got a second one down here, which is a similar thing, which is off at the moment, which is just basically a big PVC pipe, sponges on the sides, and then it's filled with uh, filter media in the middle, and a little pump, drawing water in from either side and putting it back out through this. And that just sits at the side of the pond. So this is just a, a solar power with a USB cable connected. I connect that to a power bank. So during the day, it charges up the power bank. When it gets dark, the power bank input switches off and it starts playing that. If you can find a pass-through power bank, then it could be on all the time and doing that, but they're very few and far between. So all I need to do is cover this up with a plastic bag to hopefully keep it dry when it starts to rain. It worked last year anyway, so no reason to think it won't work again this year. And then I stick it under this shelf, out of the way. And we're good to go. So we've got daytime filtration, nighttime filtration. It's probably overkill, but it seems to do the trick. It doesn't do anything for water quality, so there is that. But today we're gonna to get the fish back in and it's probably quite late, so the water temperature is fine. Um, they could handle it a lot colder, but because my fish room is heated and the goldfish have been in the fish room over the winter, they've been used to nice toasty water. Um, so I've been waiting for the temperature to rise a little bit more than I probably needed to. So we've had a few days of high teens, 
water temperature is not frigid anymore. So I've had them in this bucket with again, a little air stone, run off a USB, anything that I keep fish in for any length of time. So they've been out here for a couple of hours, just getting temperature acclimated. Um, I like to get an air stone in there to keep that moving. But we'll get these guys back in after I show you and have a look at them. They've put on a bit of size over the winter, looking really healthy and plump. One of the good things about having them in my fish room over winter was I got to monitor them a lot closer than I would in the pond because as you can see the pond water's pretty murky. But six little bog standard Comet Goldfish. I'll get them back in here. But my plan to get them in is basically just be top up this bucket with water from there every kind of 10, 20 minutes which I've been doing for the last couple of hours. And now they should be temperature acclimated, water acclimated and get them back in. It should just be a case of letting them out. So I'll see if I can do this one handed. Just slowly let them come out at their own pace. There's no rush. And we're good. So that's today's job's done. The fish are moved over. Um, like I said earlier, we're getting a digger in next week to complete the pond. Um, if anybody does have any ideas, do let me know in the, the comments below. The main requirements are it looks pretty and it doesn't use any power. My argument is that if it doesn't use any power, it won't look pretty, but I'm never right when it's an argument with my good lady wife, so we'll see how we get on. But any constructive criticism, let us know before we start digging it next week. Um, obviously come and join me on my Friday night live stream, 9pm UK time. You can let me know there. I might even drag on Missy's adventure so you can all help convince me that we need to put some power into it. Other than that, just a quick update this time. Thank you very much for joining me. Make sure you check out the links in the description and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.